serious? So here we go guys, uh, one box from Foxseer and again this box should contain the Foxseer Aura 7 and okay so this box, uh, it, it says Foxseer but on the top side it doesn't say tell us much about the inners over here, however, it says Foxeer Aura 7, a long-range RTF drone. So, obviously I haven't flown it yet, uh, but I hope it'll also be a fast and freestyleable drone. Probably it can also do long-range, but that's kind of the buzzword, so every quad manufacturer calls their quads long-range. <laughs> yeah. Okay, however, this, uh, this here video is uh, more or less an uh, unboxing, a plain unboxing, and um, okay, what I have here is the, well, 7-inch Aura with the digital setup, so DJI Digital, and, and the Crossfire receiver. That's what we should find in this box. So let's dig in. A plain white box. So the first thing you find is uh, foldable propellers. I've done a video on their foldable propellers, the dull prop foldable propellers in a five inch flavor. And I'll have a link to that in the upper right corner. So it definitely makes your quad easier to transport. And when, with a seven inch quadcopter that might uh, be important to you. In general, they work pretty well. But a, a non-foldable propeller works a little bit better. But okay, we will be flying the quadcopter with these foldable propellers in my review. Then we've got, uh, let's say, a cat. Well, not a whole lot actually. We find an uh, FEV antenna for the quad itself, of course. Two battery straps and a screw and bolt for your action cam mount over here. That's what this is for. And that's it, all right. There you go, one quadcopter, and we'll obviously take a close look at that in a second. And that is it. Yeah, no fast, no pass. <laughs> yeah, no, like for instance, spare cables, spare screws, but uh, you get a quadcopter with the necessary care package and propellers and uh, well as you can hopefully see in my case a crossfire receiver but you can um, order this quad in all kinds of flavors right analog digital digi different uh, digital setups different uh, receivers as you know okay let's have a close look at the quad itself so let's actually start with a little bit of a roundup of the choices you have with this uh, Aura 7 from Foxeer. The stack itself is uh, the same for all versions. You can get them with two flavors of motors, 2806 and a half motors, but you can get uh, 1350 kV or 1650 kV. In most instances you'd go for the low kV version if you want to, for instance, fly 6S. However, the higher kV, 1750 kV version, might be more useful for lithium ion packs, 4S lithium ion packs. Yeah, otherwise those might struggle. Okay, you can get them with, uh, again, the DJI setup, not the air unit, so not the old version of the air unit, which is a good choice, but maybe they can't get them anymore. That might, uh, <laughs> might be the, the actual reason, but um, to me those air units didn't, well, have much of an, uh, a leg up on the Vistas. So this is a Vista. You can also get the O3 version. You can get uh, analog setups, uh, obviously with a, <laughs> with a Foxeer VTX in it. You can get uh, HD0 and that's it. For receivers you can get, as I did, a Crossfire receiver, you can get an XM Plus, an RXSR, an ELRS receiver, and that's it. Or no receiver. You can uh, order the quadcopter without a receiver as well. Then what other choices do you have? Ah, yeah, a color. I've got a teal version, there's also a yellow, yellowish green version. There's no gray version, as in uh, the 5 inch Aura 5. Yeah, so with that you get the teal TPU prints, right? And uh, the propellers, the propellers are grey, but you do get a teal FB antenna. I'm not sure what kind of antenna you'd get with the yellow version. Maybe a yellow, I, I, I don't know, I don't have it. <laughs> but uh, okay, you've got um, arm protectors, two antenna mounts at the rear, a GPS mount, and at the front uh, your action camera mount and an FV antenna mount. 
Okay, also the motors have a greenish teal tint to them, as you can see. In my humble opinion, that makes the teal version look a lot better. Okay, so yeah, these, uh, like a lot of quadcopters these days, they have plastic wire guards. And I sincerely hope we get rid of those sooner than later. Um, at first glance, they might look nice and they might even protect your wires, you might think. But uh, if you damage these, they will become more of a hazard than anything else. If you get one st prop strike to them, they shatter and will have uh, sharp edges. I'd r much rather see simple tape, for instance, to keep the wires attached to the arms and protect them. Oh well, but again, if you are uh, familiar with FPV drones, you know that most manufacturers now use these plastic guards. It's probably easy in manufacturing and th therefore um, less expensive to do. Okay, also what I notice is the, the bunch of wires at the rear over here. So that's antennas for the visa set and the receiver and the GPS unit. Um, yeah, they can't get blown outside of the frame, I, I don't think. But I would have liked to have seen those restrained uh, somehow a little. Uh, they will probably be flopping around, which is not what you want. Which is at least not what I want. I would have, for instance, much rather have seen those run underneath the Vista. Having the Vista stand up on some um, washers or something. This, however, will work. You can see how the motor wires are soldered onto the 401 uh, ESC. And uh, in, like in most cases, the assembly work at Fox Sear for the drones is immaculate. I'm a pretty okay solderer, but I would probably not be able to do it this, this neatly. Okay, and they chose to not run the wires underneath the flight controller. This uh, makes it more maintainable. Uh, it's easier to, to swap out a motor this way. You won't need to take uh, the stack apart to uh, change out a motor this way. Also what I notice is that uh, the platform, the battery mount if you will, is nice and big. Nice and spacious. Yeah, that will uh, make uh, your choice in batteries uh, easier. Also what I notice... Um, this, the power wire is, well, it's actually fine. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, you could get somehow a, a prop strike to this wire, but no, it doesn't look like it. So, and there's a lot of space uh, up, up here at the front, as you can tell. I'm not sure what you'd uh, use it for, maybe a buzzer. I don't think the quadcopter has a buzzer. But um, yeah, you've got all kinds of space for extra hardware should you need it. One thing that is very interesting in this quadcopter at the front is the camera. So this is not a DJI or a Cadex camera. And not even a run cam camera. That makes sense, right? A Foxeer quadcopter won't come with a run cam camera. So this is the Foxeer Apollo, micro Apollo camera. I have never used that camera before, and in my review of this quadcopter, we'll see how that performs, what uh, that's like, if it's, uh, well, a good uh, alternative to uh, the current Runcam cameras or the DJI cameras. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, about these uh, propellers, the floppy propellers, these are new versions. These have a uh, metal, uh, al aluminium probably. Or aluminum, if you if you prefer, an uh, aluminium hub. So uh, previously, the first version uh, of these propellers had a plastic hub. These should uh, definitely be more durable and uh, won't change after a while when um, the, the, the the slop in increases, for instance. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> definitely uh, should be more durable. But we'll see in my review of this quadcopter. Uh, what those are like. So guys, that was my uh, unboxing of this Foxeer RA7. And a short video on uh, what you get and my first impressions uh, of this quadcopter. By now you have probably already seen my review of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't even flown it. So uh, tell me in the comment section below what I, what I thought of this quadcopter. <laughs> yeah, okay. So also uh, a little bit of uh, housekeeping about my channel. I've been uh, away for a while as you've probably noticed. 
just if you follow my channel at least. I've had some other priorities, if you will, in life, uh, business, work and family. So I've, again, uh, that uh, meant that I've been away from uh, YouTube for a while, but I'm back. And um, I also have a new computer by now, so it should be uh, much easier for me to uh, edit the videos. Yay! <laughs> yeah, uh, that should improve uh, the videos as well. So uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, if you have uh, questions about uh, that or the quadcopter, post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.